say it like that If I hate you then I'll find someone new Hey pretty but you know I never will No So I choke you down just like a pill Say you're sorry. Oh, maybe I'll leave. Maybe, but you know I never will. No, so I choke you down just like a pill. Good evening, everyone. I apologize for the cracking of my voice already have not been feeling great this week welcome back to the rose league final season fi semi finals of season two here tonight going on in the diamond division between two amazing teams pachamari ninjas versus cgc sunstone i'm your play-by-play -play for the evening captain jack joined by platinum thistle on the color roll this evening how you doing tonight platinum I'm super excited because these two teams here are going to have a fantastic matchup tonight. We will be seeing GC, uh, uh, CGC St Sunstone versus Pachamari Ninjas. And the both of these teams have had an incredible season with uh, Sunstone going 9-1 and one with Pachamari Ninjas going 10-0. and zero. The only loss for Sunstone was against Pachamari Ninjas, and that was a two to three. So we're going to have a close match tonight, and I hope everyone's getting nice and comfortable because we're going to be here a while. Now Completely agreed. Our first that. match is going to be on Busan, the control map. And I do also want to note that that match between Pachamari Ninjas and CGC Sunstone was Initiating almost three match. months ago, very first week of the season. So these teams have grown, they have learned, and their map differential is two away from one another. One is a positive 35 CGC Sunstone and positive 37 for Pachamari Ninjas. So th this is going to be an incredibly close matchup between these two teams. I am incredibly excited to see what's going to end up happening here as we move into the Mecha base for our first match this evening. Uh, Jesus Trust is going to be coming in on the side of Pachamari Ninjas as a fill this evening. They recently got a uh, a new main healer for their team, but the healer just didn't feel right building off of the success that they've already set up, which I think is honorable. I, I think Definitely. that that's. I think that that's honorable to be able to say, you know what, you all have earned this so far. I'm going to let you all go ahead and take it to the finish line. And uh, so we will go ahead and see what's going on. Looking in the chat, Clean Linens, popping that Rose League logo. We love you, boss. Thanks for joining us this evening. I know Pachamari Ninjas is kind of the home team for the Rose League. So let's go ahead and see if they've got what it takes to go against CGC Sunstone. Here comes the tackle, coming in for Fine Star, looking to get some kills. Not gonna be successful. Dwarfnik gonna take down Dream Duck to stir things off though for the side of uh, for the side of CGC Sunstone. Giannis able to take down Nug in return as Zelleros follows up on to Fine Star. It's 4v5 fight on the object or on top of the objective as they start moving their way towards the control point. We're gonna see Introvert end up taking down Godless Juice. Pachamari really trying to hold onto this as much as possible, but the control point uh, was starting to be taken by CGC. Now will end up being locked out by uh, Pachamari Ninja's 3% and climbing. Very, very clean play there. 
towards the beginning for uh, Pachamari ninjas. At first, separating out uh, the tank, and then unfortunately getting stopped up. Let's see what they can do. Let's see what they can do in this next push. Yep, the rally already coming out from Dwarfnik, as well as the B drop from Steven's Crest. Here comes the Graviton. Ramianus looking to clean up, gets the double on to G-Sussman and Opham as Godless Goose takes themselves out of the fight. Giannis melts Dwarfnik and a team kill will ring loud and proud. A pause is already being called in the match. It looks like we are uh, we are having some issues already. No bueno, no bueno. Now you gotta hope um, that it is for... Uh, lo yeah, it looks like it's for uh, G. Uh, looks like CGC Sunstone, and Godless Goose says that Ofum needs to restart, which is incredibly unlucky because he was there, uh, Zenyatta, and he's all he's at ninety seven percent to transcendence, and that's a massive ultimate, especially. Uh, well, actually, Ionis not having that uh, graviton surge due to the late switch from the May, I believe, so it's not gonna be as big of a deal. But still, it's a massive ult to lose. And oh, uh, no, it looks never like mind. they might be good. They they might have just needed to uh, clear the air for a second. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get back into the action. Yes, if Opum would have had to restart, that would have been absolutely huge for them because that that would have been essentially a lost ultimate on the side absolutely. of CDC. And as we saw earlier this week with the Platinum game. Uh, it was either a Platinum or Masters game earlier this week where there was one DC ended up happening in the middle of the match and it really kind of turned the tides, if you will. The grab, or sorry, the Blizzard coming in right now from Nug, though, looking to do some cleanup as Introvert already popping the Coalescence. g Sussman able to take down Azar oh, shatter. shatter, double shatter coming out from Dream Duck and Fine Star. Opum gonna pop that Transcendence to try to save the day. It's Dream Duck getting the tackle on G Sussman right off the edge. Diva Bomb going to the back line from Zellaros. Doesn't end up getting much of anything as Introvert ends up taking down Fine Star. Godless Goose right now trying to hold on as long as possible with the help of Opum, but it doesn't look like they're gonna be able to take the objective in their favor. It's a five. V4 scenario right now as Zellaros ends up taking down Opum. The freeze comes in onto Dream Duck from uh, Nug, but will get taken down by Dream Duck's hammer as Ianus ends up following up on Godless Goose and Jeebus Crust ends up taking down G Sussman 95% and climbing right now. And I think we're going to see a 100% lockout, 100 to zero for the side of the Patchmari Ninjas. That was a very clean fight, and honestly, that's what you get when you fight with goats. Sustainability. Pachamara Ninjas lost that fight to right. Sunstone should have definitely had that point. They had the picks, they had the better plays, and they had um, the ultimate advantage moving into the fight in terms of what they used and how they used it. The only problem was that with this goat's composition, a lot of the time you are seeing fights that can get stalled out for such a long time that the reinforcements can get there, and then it's a full 6v6 again. So if that ends up happening and they get a pick along the way, then it's just, it ends up being an uneven fight. And it looks like we won't be seeing goats uh, this round. Both nope, no goats this go time. With... Looks like we're going to be yeah. seeing a dive versus triple DPS. Uh, so it should triple be, uh... DPS on both sides. One of them is oh, just more of a dive oh, than okay. the other. Yeah. One... With, the, oh, with okay. this Widow matchup, it's really... The Widow that gets the first pick is the only one that's going to be doing work. Because oh, neither well, Widow is Godless going to Godless Goose looking to almost get that oof by Ionis right there. As we see the Far Mercies taken to the sky right now. Five seconds until the point unlocks as we see... Um, as we see them try to figure out how they're going to get to the objective right now. The only one on the objective right now is Introvert. As we see Fine Star go ahead and jump in, the anti nade comes down. As Fine Star ends up getting taken down by Dream Duck, that's already going to make it a 5v6 fight on the objective. As we go ahead and see the Pachamari Ninjas claim the objective in their favor, Zellaros ends up getting the hack and kill on the G Sussman as Nug ends up following up on Jeebus Crest. That's gonna be both Mercies out of the fight for this as Introvert following up on Nug in return, looking to hold on to that objective. Dream Duck taking down Opham on the Hanzo right there. The only one left really near the point is Dwarfnik, but will get taken down by Introvert as well. Godless Goose and Fine Star looking to turn things around, but Giannis getting the double kill onto Godless Goose and Fine Star is gonna go ahead and change it back into 
uh, favor for the side of Pachamari Ninjas, 31% and climbing. Dwarfnik on the brig doesn't make a lot of sense to me because quite obviously they run, they or at least they were running a far mercy run coming into this, which means that the mercy is going to be pretty much preoccupied with the far, which means your solo healer for four other people is going to be a brig. So that's not, as far as I knew, that wasn't working out too well, which is probably why they switched off the Fara and now are a pummeling Dream Duck into Oblivion. Well, uh, that's exactly w what they do, want to do. I, I guess I understand the aspect of why they'd want to do it because of the AoE, but mm. they, because of this dive composition, they're not able to get enough people grouped up. Oh, we got a Nano Mercy right now. Here comes oh, the Battle Valk. And Jeebus Crust ends up taking down Opham in the back line as Fine Sire takes down Introvert. It looks like that Battle Mercy may not have been worth it as Dwarfnik already having the rally online looking to try to take down Dream Duck, but may not be, may not end up being successful. Uh, Nug will actually end up following up the final kill as Jeebus Crest goes for the hard reset. That's going to be a claim of the objective for the side of CGC Sunstone. 8% and climbing to 82%. Now, with the Widow compositions, and the same reason a lot of teams in Overwatch League don't run them, is because they're very, very, very risky. The only way they're useful is if your Widow gets the first pick. Neither Widow is in the fight until they get a pick, and then there you go. Godless Goose. And there it the goes. Risk. Godless Goose showing down. how godless they are, taking down Jeebus Crush to start things off. So no reses for that team. You see in the back line, Azar looking to try to dive, but the rest of CGC has grouped up with Godless Goose trying to protect them. Introvert ends up getting the final pick onto Godless Goose right there, but the Rez gonna come in from Wigglebutt Mercy. Azar though, gonna take that butt right out of the game as Introvert ends up getting the kill with the Death Ball onto Dwarfic. Nug following up on Jeebus Crest in return as the Honest takes down Opham. It is back and forth right now, but it looks like we're gonna see this go to the Pachamari Ninjas. 83% and climbing to 50. 56 percent for CGC. Now this is where things get desperate. They're they're one down and they're in one fight territory. Sunstone has to do something. They have to do it now, and it's got to be definitive. Here comes the primal, but the blade coming down the back line. Azar gets the double, but she's Sussman shutting it down. It's a 5v6 as the rally comes out from Dwarfnik. The minefield, though, also coming out for the side of uh. Pachamari Ninja is going to allow some cleanup as Azar and Ianis take down Keith Sussman and Dwarfnik on the objective. Overtime ticking away as the Coalescence gets popped by Introvert. The only one left on the, on the objective right now is Godless Goose on the Genji, but it's not going to be enough. That Coalescence is going to eat right through him. And Pachamari Ninjas is going to grab the first map this evening in the semifinals here on Busan. That seemed almost too easy for them. There was... Uh, Sunstone captured point a couple times, but it was never for more than like. I don't think I don't think it got into above the teens in terms of capture percentages. They just did a very 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 good job, Hachimari Ninjas, with their with their every single interaction. And the only time they ever lost fights, I think they only lost one fight each in each map. And when that they're when right. yeah when they're moving forward. They really have not a lot to change, not a lot to look up. Uh, I don't know if I would support the Nano Valk again. <laughs> Obviously, um, they knew what Jeebus Crest was capable of. Yeah, when but yeah, when you've got Jesus on your team, you kind of have to give him the Nano. No, I think, no, Jeebus. Bible, Jeebus, Jeebus Crust. Yeah, it's totally like God different. Made of sandwiches. Yeah, yeah, we're we're th we're thinking like like. Italian pizza rather than uh, rather than Middle Eastern carpenter. <laughs> yeah, I think instead of nailing Jeebus to the cross, they literally just put him on a, a pizza. On a pizza. On a pizza. Okay, and served him we might pizza. be getting a little dark here, so let's go ahead and get back to it. <laughs> um, so Pachamari Ninjas taking the first map. We know that in week one we ended up seeing them go with a 3-2 in favor of Pachamari Ninjas. This may be exactly why, though, uh, because Pachamari because Ninjas are point. so good on control point, and we know yeah. that control is our tiebreaker. So that might be why we saw what we saw happen. And assuming that everything goes down the same as it did during week one, which I really hope that it doesn't, um, 
more than likely we'll be seeing CGC Sunstone come out on the other end of these escort type maps. Whereas Pachamari Ninjas will more than likely get their second map on Assault. So would you would you agree kind of with what I'm seeing right now? I okay, so based on just their play style, what I would do is I would mark them down for being very good at um the control point maps, which would make them um decent at the um at the assault maps, the two CP maps as the community has dubbed them. Uh and then that would possibly if they were good at that too, they could possibly also be good at the hybrid, which means uh CGC Sunstone's best chance is probably going to be on Assault, but we will see as we're going into Numbani, which is a hybrid map, we'll be able to see, I'll catch a little bit of a glimpse uh, as to how each team is going to be doing based on their performances in this map, because it should give us a hint as to our final two maps. If they do really well on first point and not too well on the second uh, uh, for the rest of it, that's going to tell us they're pretty decent at 2CP, but they're not going to be that good at, at assault or, ass, uh, or escort rather. So that's really what we're going to be looking for. This map is so good to be going into the halftime with simply because it gives us a little bit of a glimpse at both of the other map types that we have left to be able to try and see how it's going to be going. And if you're Sunstone right now, you want this to be a complete shutout. Um, and I think we're probably going to be seeing a bunker. Yeah, bunker comp coming out from Sunstone again. So we might just see that mirror that mirror rotation strategy that we've been seeing the past however many games. That is true, and I have to agree with Pope Beast in the chat saying, Where am I? Well, this is called Numbani. You don't see it very often anymore. But in in my opinion, I believe it's the most balanced hybrid map that we we have seen thus far. There are so many different entryways for the attack, so many different ways to defend. There yeah. it's just there's so much possibility that there's not just one way to kind of hold on to the objective. So that's why we're going to be seeing a couple different strategies be pulled out right here with um, Nug now coming in on the uh, on the Widowmaker this time around. Maybe be able to get a couple picks to start things off. Looks like we are going to see the triple DPS comp once again. Iana Cesar and Zelros coming out on the Genji Soldier and um and Sombra. So the, the difficult part about this is gonna be Zelleros' job. And we know that already because Zelleros is gonna Definitely. need to get that EMP as quick as possible to break up the bunker composition. But if they're not able to do that because the bunker is so well set, it's going to be incredibly difficult for them to try to hold on. And here comes the anti-nade. Looks like we're gonna see Finestar go ahead and move down onto the low ground along with Godless Goose. Looking to clean up right there, G Sussman as the mini diva gonna come out pro, end up taking down Dream Duck right there. The anti nade ends up coming in from Introvert as we see the remake by G Sussman right there. The only one left near the objective right now is Introvert and is really in a, a weird position. Find Sire staying on the objective where they're at. It looks like they are looking to move back to the high ground, but they may have waited just a little too long as we see. Um, now Dream Duck on the Hammond, go ahead and hit the objective. Here comes the slam. As, oh, we need camera uh, on Arisa in the back. No, never mind. Oh, the sleep dart on Arisa there in the back. Ends up taking them out of the fight. That's first kick. Godless Goose able to take down Nazar. That's second kick. Here comes the Bastion ult also with the tag visor. That might be enough. Double kill as Godless Goose getting the double kill in return. Here comes the minefield, but it's not going to be placed well enough for them to do much of anything. Bit as we see, there. say that again. I said a bit too late there. They, he placed it on their previous position as they were moving. Oh, that is that is a bad position to be in. But now yeah. they do have two ticks on the point with two minutes on the clock. Looking in the chat, Iron Wolf saying, spam this lolly to support Patchy. And I, I don't know what a lolly is, but apparently it looks like that. <laughs> Shows Lolly how much I know about the Lolly things I, that we do, right? <laughs> I, be, I believe Lolly is Japanese for child. Oh, so spam, spam this child for Pachamari Ninjas. <laughs> how about that? Alrighty. Well, right now we see Zelleros with the EMP ends up getting Godless Goose 
and find Steyer, which may be enough as Dream Duck ends up getting the ball and chain on to find Steyer. The Diva Bomb coming down. Um, G Sussman gets the double as Godless ends up following up on Introvert. Uh, it doesn't look like they're going for the res as G Sussman takes down Jeeva's Crust right there and Godless Goose follows up on Zella Rose and Opham asking if you need a bandage. One minute on the clock as we see now the Doomfist coming in for Nug. It looks like they gave up on the Widowmaker right there. Might have been getting dove just a little bit too much by Azar, who's yeah, been doing phenomenal on that Genji. Zellaros was able to get the double EMP right there, but it just was not enough um, to be able to uh, lock down the objective in their favor. Dream Duck in the back line, looking to get some damage on the high ground. Here comes the Wrecking Ball, as we now see um, Fine Sarah coming back in as the Reinhardt, looking to hold on to the objective. Here comes the Battle Valp. Once again, Dream Duck ends up taking down Fine Star, but Godless Goose following up on Azar. Here comes Tank Mode once again as Dream Duck ends up getting Opham. Godless Goose following up on Ianus and Introvert. That's the double. Looking to make it a triple as Dream Duck takes down Dwarf Nick. G Sussman following up on Jeeva's Crest. No resins in the future as G Sussman takes down Dream Duck as well. Diva Bomb going into the sky and doesn't end up getting much of anything as Azar coming in, takes down Godless Goose after the Zellerus EMP. Here comes the Tag Visor, out from Ianus, but is gonna end up getting punched right into the wall by Nug, make that a double, as they take down Zellerus in return. Azar trying to hold on to the objective, ends up taking down Nug as the Reds comes in from Jeebus Crest onto Ianus. Overtime ticking away right now as Ianus takes down Opham, but the Reds comes in for Nug. Overtime continuing to tick away as the charge comes in, ends up missing Ianus following up on the Dwarf Nick, no Reds on the Point. Iana's taking down Fine Star as Nug uses the Meteor Strike to take down Iana's Introvert, get the Antidate onto Godless Goose as Desesperate takes down Jeebus Crest. Nug's gonna fall to Introvert as Overtime continuing to take away only 5% and it's gonna be caught by the Pachamari Ninjas. Very, very, very Woo. nice job. That was Woo. a very nice last attack and a very nice hold. Um, I think that Sunstone did pretty much as well as they could there obviously just short of getting the full hold. But I think that a lot of people had a lot of doubt in their mind after seeing first map that there was gonna ever be a full hold or a performance this good from Sunstone. And they definitely showed their worth here. Doing a fantastic job on that bugging composition. Now switching over to a Goats uh, with Ana composition. Um, and and Ana Mercy. Like I, I think that that's a good composition for them to run, actually, especially on second point. You definitely yeah, yeah. want that additional that res ground. to be used on second point because it's such a uh, long way away. Azar coming in with the blade after the yep. minefield is dropped. Doesn't end up Hammer's getting much here. of anything as Fine Sarah takes Azar out of the fight. The payload currently over halfway to position number two as the res comes in. For Azar by Jeebus Crest, G Sussman takes down Ionis and Introvert following up on Fine Star. Diva Bomb coming in from oh, G Sussman ends up taking down Introvert. It is a 3v1, 4v1 fight on the objective right now as G Sussman, the lone Diva, currently with Opham on the objective, just trying to hold on for as long as possible. Here comes the Tac Visor, ends up taking down G Sussman as Dream Duck follows up on to Opham. And that is going to be a hold of objective two and go ahead and add another minute and a half to the clock. That's two minutes, 15 seconds to push into objective number three. Holding on second point, for those of you who are not as Overwatch aware, uh, especially on this map and for a lot of hybrid maps, is very, very uncommon. See, you see it, it mostly hold first or last. Here comes the pulse bomb. Oh, there's the sleep dirt on the fine star and the anti -nade. Oh, there they go. Right into oblivion due to the minefield right there. But it looks like that's not going to be enough. Giannis ends up taking down G Sussman after the DMAC by Azar. It's a 6v4 fight on the objective right now as Dwarfnik trying to take down the Lone Tracer in their back line. A minute and 30 seconds as Introvert using the anti nade to take down Dwarfnik. Graviton coming in. Opham drops the V-drop to try to keep everything going as the valve comes up for Jeebus Crest and the 
Nano Blade coming in, does end up getting Opum there at the rare, very end. The Tac Visor coming out for Ion. It's gonna get shut down by Dwarfnik as they move into the objective. One minute, five seconds left on the clock. Diva Bomb coming down again. Doesn't end up in much of anything as Fun Sire takes down Introvert. Zeller is following up on Nug. It's a three v four fight on the objective right now. As Fine Star ends up getting Zelleros, but the pulse bomb at the very end gets Fine Star. Jeebus Crust going for the hard reset there at the end after being cornered a little bit with 45 seconds and five meters to push. It looks like Patchamari Ninjas have uh, got their work made out for them. Definitely, definitely, definitely. They, they've got the push here. They've only, they don't, they have no ultimates. All of their ults have been reset to zero because they need to go to this goat's composition. Fine Sire will have that nano shatter coming up, and then, given enough damage, Godless Goose might be able to come up to a um, a graviton surge. However, unlikely that may be. Possibly. Let's see if it happens. They're pushing into the objective right now. Fine Sire getting the tackle onto Jeebus Cross. The shatter, I thought, came down, but ends up getting interrupted. Introvert and Zelleros getting kills on Opham and Fine Star. It's a 4v5 fight on the objective. 3v5 as the Honest takes down Dwarfnik. The Graviton comes out, but it's not going to be enough as Godless Goose takes down Nazar, but Introvert takes down Godless Goose. The Transcendent's going to come up as the Honest follows up onto G Sussman, and Zelleros takes down Opham, and that's going to lock down objective number one. Or sorry, objective three rather on round one for the Pachamari Ninjas with less than a minute on the, or actually in overtime. Yeah. Just barely in overtime though, just barely. After that first point is taken, I think that that's pretty much as good as you can hope for against a team like Pachamari Ninjas. Oh, totes. I'm just, what? I said, oh, totes. Oh, like, totally. <laughs> I thought you Sorry, were going to say something trying to be, about trying to be hip with the kids and stuff. Totes, man. <laughs> I, I, I thought you were going. I thought you were saying something about goats, which was exactly oh, my no, point. Totes. Um, that, that that should be a composition. We should now make a totes composition. Totes composition. I don't know who it'd be. We need Torbjorn we goats. We need uh, Torbjorn goats. Got it. We've got Someone it. Someone get on that. Someone Shell. get on that. Torb goats. Get on totes. it. <laughs> Continue what you were saying there, <laughs> Well. Honestly, the the bunker composition seems to be something that Pachamari Ninjas is having a very hard time running up against. Um, and Attackers. as you can see in pure Overwatch fashion, you see something that works against you, you're gonna run it. You're gonna run it yourself. Although in all likelihood, they were planning on running it anyway. Um, coming out on the uh, bunker composition, but as we saw in the last fight, that was just pretty much pure Overwatch. Even though even Sunstone had a couple a couple ultimate advantages and the first pick, actually as well. I believe on the Jeebus Crest, maybe on to Introvert. I can't remember which one. Um, and it was just pure Overwatch with the GOATS composition. Pachamari Ninjas did very well. They won that matchup just with pure skill and uh, targeting very good coordination. So that's definitely something to be looking out for. It seems like Pachamari Ninjas is the better team just on pure GOATS. Um, because that was just a flat terrain. There was nothing for them to fight. It was just brawling 1v1, no ultimates. And much. that was just about as pure as you can get it without it being in like an empty cube. So let's see what this pharmacy can do against this bunker composition. And this is something that we've seen before, except for this time we're not seeing the Ana, which is the thing that concerns me just a little bit. That Antinate is incredibly powerful yeah, definitely. for the dive. And it looks like Fine Star actually going to swap over to the Hammond as well. It's like these two teams are taking tips from one another. <laughs> like, yeah. okay, we're going to, okay, now it's our turn to run the bunker on the defense. It's your turn to try to run this triple DPS on the attack. And it looks like we already have Fine Star trying to take the objective in their favor. It looks like they're already halfway to number one. The first tick, it's accidental. In. That's first tick. Just enough to start things off. As we see the amplification matrix, Ore coming out for Introvert, looking to do some damage. Zelros ends up getting hacked and demected right there. As we see Fine Star looking to uh, distract on the objective. Iana's gonna end up taking down G Sussman. 
in return. So it's a 5v6 fight on the objective for 5v5.5, if you count that for a mini diva. Giannis ends up taking down Godless Goose and Dwarfnik in the far of mercy as Dream Duck follows up on to find Sire. They were able to at Ultimate least get one pick ready. on the objective, which is powerful, but with already two minutes, 15 seconds on the clock, that could uh, prove to be quite difficult. You know why they weren't able to take it? Why? It's because they didn't kill the baby diva. The baby diva is. I know so the baby diva is so pro. Oh goodness! I should have known. In all seriousness, though, Zelleros is going to be a prime target here because without Zelleros, the entire composition is going to have to shift down. They're going to be able to contest the point because the only people that can are the Arisa and the Diva. And if they oh, can't contest the point, here's the, the dragon strike. Will that be Justice enough, though? G Sussman coming down with. Uh, Takes down Nazar as the barrage comes down. Dream Duck follows up onto Godless Goose. The Reds comes in from Jeeva's crest. It's not going to be enough. Nug holding on to that EMP, just not willing to give it up just yet. As we end up seeing Jeeva's crest take Nug out of the fight, Azar going to follow up on Opum. One minute, 15 seconds left on the clock right now. Uh, in the chat, Vega saying, Yas, go Patchy, rock him. I'm gonna wreck it! Like wreck a Ralph. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm a dad. God, it's all about Goose. the Disney movies here. Oh boy, I can't imagine. <laughs> Godless Goose coming in with that damage boost from the Mercy and the um, and the Harmony Orb. So good amount of healing. Oh, here comes the EMP. God! What EMP? That may be exactly what they need. 45 seconds on the clock. The Reds comes in. Will end up being successful along with the minefield. On the objective, going to keep them from getting down onto it. Giannis takes down Dwarfnik, but Opum gets the Storm Arrow onto Azar and Zep takes down Zellero. Dragon Strike into the high ground, allows Perfectly Opum to placed. take down Dream Duck. Giannis coming out with the high noon, gets the triple, but it's not going to be enough as the payload is already unlocked. Giannis is able to survive with the help of Jeebus Crust, but it's not going to be soon enough. With two minutes, 45 seconds on the clock, that payload is ready to move. Too little, too late there, Giannis, getting four kills at the end, which could have saved the point, but just if, if they had a few more seconds, they could have he could Shoulda, coulda, woulda. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. You know how it is. And yeah. I think it really comes down to that first tick on the objective. Like, people don't understand how important getting at least one tick on an objective could be Absolutely. for a future fight, because if they had not gotten that tick, they would have lost. They would have totally Definitely. lost that objective. But because Definitely. they were able to spend that time at least whittling down the objective piece by piece, getting that first tick, and then following up on the second and third in their next push, that allowed them to go ahead and take that objective. It looks like we are going to see a traditional GOAT now coming out for the side of Patchmari Ninjas as they come in to defend objective number two. Uh, it looks like in the chat, people are being very passionate passionate for Patchy. Here comes the Diva Bomb. Ends up taking oh, down Dwarfnik in the sky, but the double Storm Arrow ends up taking down Azar and Dream Duck, so it's a 4v5 fight on the objective. EMP, the EMP coming down, gets the triple, but will there be enough follow-up as Jeebus Crust getting the double kill on Define Steyr and Nug. The only one left is Opham and is going to get cleaned up as well. 4.79 meters left on objective number two, and they've got a minute and 15 seconds to make it happen. There is very, very, very little that could have gone wrong there for Pachamari ninjas because they got the, they got picked off. Uh, they got Dream Duck picked off early in the beginning. We got the double Storm Arrow kill from Ofum, but they got the the EMP out. Even though that the, they've switched composition now to just pure goats, that's exactly what they want. They want to be in the pure goats fight. Let's see if they can do enough to make it happen. Oh man, Pachamari just running them down right now. The team kill pretty much ringing loud and clear. The only one left near the objective is Nug and is gonna go for that hard reset. 30 seconds left on the clock right now and Pachamari is not looking at slowing down anytime soon. 
definitely. And coming in here, we do have a Transcendence and an Earth Shatter for the side of Sunstone. So that's something to be watching out for. But the ultimate advantage is definitely for Pachamori Ninjas who have been playing better. So this fight should go to them with no excuse. This should Let's be Let's see if it get, Let's see if it'll happen. The rally ends up getting popped by Azar to start things off. Shatter comes in but ends up getting blocked. Transcendence coming in to prevent the... Sh the second shatter from coming down from Dream Duck, but it's not gonna happen! It's perfect under the cart as the Graviton comes in from Ionis. The V-Drop coming in as well to clean up and Pashamari Ninjas are going into the half. Two to zero against CGC Sunstone. That was a very preemptive transcendence there, and I don't want to say it lost them the fight because they probably would have lost it anyway the way that Pachamari Ninjas was playing. But it was definitely too early. I think it was just anticipated, in a sense. So that's what ended up kind of uh, killing it at one point. Yeah. The fact that they were like, okay, we know that Dream Duck Shatter's going to come. So I'm going to pop the trans in, like, response so that it doesn't get... Uh, so I don't get slammed before I can pop it. But, I mean, Dream Duck just has to wait at that point like he's yeah. get, they're gonna sh set up the shatter regardless so i thought that it was in preemptive uh for ionis because he got oh, the it could have been that as well i thought that, that as well with the graviton yeah i thought that sussman was waiting for the grav because he got the nano boost put on him uh that makes sense all right well uh we're gonna go into our halftime break i do want to give a shout out to my eldest daughter luann aka mini jack who is uh, I believe should be watching this evening uh, from her mom's house. She's currently on visitation away from the house. Love you, sweetheart. Uh, hope you're here watching this. I uh, hope you're having a good time watching as well. So what do you think uh, we're going to be expecting going into the second half there, Platinum? Well, just judging by the performance, I think the closest next map is going to be the 2CP or the, the assault map. Um, simply because both teams were very, very good at it. And that we're going to be... Um, coming into next it's going to be Hanamura or Anubis and Goose and Sunstone have picked Anubis which is probably the best for them mm. and uh Hachimori... no actually they picked Hanamura oh sorry 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 Hanamura that's what I meant uh um, it's because so, it, it, yeah it's one's a desert and one's cherry blossoms totally totally understand how you got them <laughs> well you know what jack i, I it's all right platinum i do it all the time <laughs> um pachamari ninjas i'm actually kind of interested to see whether or not they'll be, they'll try and pull out a symmetric strategy when it comes to teleporting because it's almost inevitable that sunstone will be coming out with a bunker composition so in anticipation of that i would not be surprised if pachamari ninjas tried they've got to try something either mobility based or somber based or maybe uh, teleporter Symmetra based. Either way, it's going to be a very close map. Escort, however, depending on who wins, if let's say Sunstone walks away with this victory and Pachamari wins, we're going to be looking at either Junkertown or Dorado. And Dorado, well, both of them could end up being very, very challenging. But I think ultimately Junkertown is where Pachamari Ninjas is going to want to go because you can uh, force the fights to be exactly where they want for two thirds of the map. And the, it becomes really more attacker friendly, I would say um, to Sunstone at that third point for Junkertown. But uh, Dorado, I think that junk that we could get away or uh, Sunstone could get away with running a lot of different compositions for, um, for Dorado, especially on the beginning with that far being so powerful. Um, and it would also possibly allow them to run a bit of a bunker on that first point, which is not as good on on Junkertown we've been seeing recently. Well, uh, so... it looks like it looks like you your preemptiveness actually ended up getting it in your favor because it looks like Godless Goose just swapped their team's decision over to Anubis. Two hundred so... IQ. <clears throat> you were just you were just prepared, and you didn't know you were prepared. So exactly. that's exactly what happened. Definitely going to be interesting to see. We're going to go ahead and take a short five minute break. The Rose League will be back with more amazing diamond action in about five minutes.
Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to the semifinals in the Diamond Division between Pachamari Ninjas and CGC Sunstone. 
Pachamari Ninjas taking a very early lead, 2-0 to zero prior to the half. Platinum, why don't you go ahead and give us a recap of uh, what we saw in the first half. Well, in the first half, now, we had more of a, a landslide win from Pachamari Ninjas. Uh, we, we were on Busan, and first map we had was Mecha Base. A very, very close first engagement. We had Snotes coming out from both sides. And after the first engagement, Pachamari Ninjas switched off the Snotes and switched over to the Zarya instead of the Mei. Whereas Sunstone kept their Mei and used the Blizzard to win the one fight they managed to win on that map for 15%, I'd say. And then moving on to downtown, which is our second map, we saw a couple DPS compositions coming out. A lot of good Widowmaker shots, actually. A lot of good fights, one off some Widowmaker shots, but still 100% for Pachamari Ninjas. So they went up 1-0, to zero, moving into Ready Nambani, where we saw a very good first point bunker comp coming in from Sunstone, which is exactly what we're seeing them be playing here, because they did very, very well on it. Actually, and... it's a little different this time around. They've got the Symmetra, which is probably to be able to move them around to the different points. Oh, they're nope, they're setting up on the high, high ground. They're going super high. Oh, so maybe they're using the Lucio to boost back and then come back? Huh? Probably with a Baptiste. I, I'm not for certain what they're looking for to the do. the jump. We will see. Is Nug heading all the way back? Oh, it looks like, yep, Nug is switching over to the... Widow and Ophum coming in on the Baptiste for that. So they're going bunker for sure. The question is, will they be able to get in soon enough as again, we are seeing the triple DBS composition come out for the side of the Patsbari Ninjas. Definitely. We have an early point touch here from Dream Duck. Uh, go ahead and see G-Sessman go ahead and work their way down onto the objective as they end up getting hacked. Godless Goose gonna take down Jeebus Crest as the DMAC comes for G Sussman by Zelleros. Zelleros is gonna take them out of the fight as Nug follows up onto Azar. They're gonna jump onto the objective as Introvert takes down Nug. In return, the team trying to stay together as best as possible, trying to do the damage that they need to do as Godless Goose kind of setting off on their own, ends up getting the double onto Introvert and he honest right there. Everybody in the chat right now, or seems like everybody right now, uh, popping that lolly for Pachamari. So, uh, it's uh, definitely see, seeming very one-sided in the chat. I want to see some love. I want to see some love for CGC Sunstone. Who is here for CGC Sunstone tonight? Because these folks are pulling off some in very impressive um, defenses right now. As the honest ends up getting the first pick right there. <laughs> Platinum, okay, you can root, you can root for Sunstone. <laughs> I don't want to feel left out. coming out, ends up getting you caught can mostly can on the high ground as the amplification matrix comes out. Azar ends up taking down Sunstone as the honest falls up onto Godless Goose. That's going to be a destructo bunker right there with now 5 minutes, 30 seconds on the clock as they move into objective number 2. Godless Goose now switching off the Bastion to the Zarya. Just about as we expected. Snowball coming in. Switching to the McCree. First tick, Ore taken. Make that second tick already. Third tick. I'm not for certain. Oh! Oh no! The EMP came down, but it wasn't soon enough. As we see right now, the cleanup coming in from Pachamari. It's just going to be devastating. What what happened to this whole, we're going to switch this to three minutes and give the other team like 2.5 seconds to respawn and the second point's not going to get rolled anymore? Um, well, they took a very long time deciding what they should pick. I agree. But still, WTF, Blizzard. WTF. <laughs> no, just completely kidding. What, what you analyzed was absolutely correct for some reason. Uh, I mean, Godless Goose was figuring out something else that they could turn to for that fight, but the rest of the team was also just kind of hanging back, mm -hmm. which I didn't really understand. Like, the, their goal was supposed to be defending the objective while Godless Goose got set on whatever character they were going to go in as. So, I don't know. They just let them take the first two ticks. That was the problem. Yeah, that was a huge issue. And then by that point, the EMP Ready came in from uh, Zelleros, I believe. And that was just the end of it. Definitely. All right, well, let's go ahead and see what these teams are gonna be coming out with this time around. It looks like we're going traditional goats for the side of CGC. 
and a dive composition for the side of Pachamari Ninjas with Azar and Ionis on the Genji Racer. So, uh, Dumble Doge, I hope I'm saying that right, in the chat saying GG Easy, CGC Sunstone. So, um, it looks like they're uh, looking to. Uh, it looks like they're looking to try to turn things around. I hope that's the case because right now there's five minutes on the clock for that defense um, for the return to round three. Let's see if they can go ahead and pull it off. It looks like they attack Ore coming in from the high ground as they go ahead and move into the objective area. The D-Mac Ore coming onto G Sussman by Ionis right there. As we see, uh, Dream Duck getting the double along with the Czar getting a double to follow up on and Zelleros and Giannis getting the double to finish that off. That's a team kill already as they go ahead and uh, set up for another defense. Three minutes, 15 seconds on the clock right now. And I got to say, it looks like CGC is maybe just a little frustrated. Dream Duck went completely uncontested there. It was ridiculous. He just sat on the high ground and, and tesla would them. Look at he's already got Primal. Yep, there we go again. And I'm getting Nug in the back line as the blade comes out from Azar looking to do some cleanup as Introvert takes down Dwarf Nick. The double onto Godless Goose and Fine Sire. That's going to be another team kill right there for the side of Patch Amari as they go ahead and clear the objective once again of CGC Sunstone and start preparing for the next defense. That was only one ultimate used, yep. and Sunstone still hasn't gotten one ultimate. Yep. I'm They've not got... for certain what's going on here. I really don't know. That's a good switch, though. Nug on to... Nug, Nug there. Uh, Diva Bomb, Coalescent, everything getting popped out, looking to do the cleanup right there as the Primal gets popped by Dream Duck. Iana, or Dream Duck ends up getting Nug to start things off. Shatter! Coming in from Fine Star, but gets taken down by Ionis, so no follow up. Opa yeah, able to get yeah, Introvert yeah, in return as the Diva Bomb comes down from G Sussman. Ends up getting the Ionis right there. The only ones left near the objective right now is the combination of Azar and Dream Duck, and they're going to get melted by Opa and G Sussman. As, oh, Azar coming back into the fight, but just barely as Nug ends up taking him out. One minute, 40 seconds on the clock. And that's going to go ahead and let them take objective one, giving them four minutes, 36 seconds to move into objective two. Now they're already under the time bank, so this has got to go quick. Stuff like this, I don't understand. They make like Colorado and got rolled in smokes, and now they're winning against five ultimates. I don't know, man. I don't know. Azar coming out with the blade ends up getting the kill onto Godless. As Godless Goose's Graviton ends up taking down Azar in return. Zeller is able to follow up on to find Sire right there as the Primal gets popped by Dream Duck. Once again, the Reds coming in for Azar as Zelleros ends up taking down G Sussman right there. And uh, a lot of people in the chat are agreeing with you right now because they're like, how does how does a team with no ultimates end up beating out beating out a team with five ultimates? <laughs> so yeah. That is definitely an interesting perspective right now. We've got Moira Goats coming in from Sunstone, so let's see how this works out for them. Definitely fast oh. call after this. And definitely working their way up. The, quote, the Valkyrie coming out for Diva Stress as well as the Transform Introvert. Diva Bomb comes down, ends up taking down the Immortality Field. Graviton coming out by Ionis as they start cleaning up the side of CGC Sunstone. Three minutes, 20 seconds on the clock right now, and Jesus Sussman going to fall to the punch of Zellerosa's mech. Wow, that was a, a a pretty definitive fight. Yep. We did see Dream Duck get picked off early, which is a good sign for um, Sunstone's both ego and performance coming in here, and they've got three they, ultimates coming now, online. Now they're doing what they should have, I felt they should have done from the beginning. Nug coming out Nug. on the Ana. Oh. You need those anti-nades if you're going to fight off ghosts. It's just the way that it is, especially, especially with, with the Zar on the Batiste. You need to keep that healing as low as possible. That way, even if you have to wait out the immortality field, they're not healing themselves up in the process. 
Definitely. Immortality feels just a pause button. Oh, Diva Bomb Good shot shot down, but it's not going to be enough to clean up on the beat drop coming in from Opum, as well as the rally from Dwarf Nick allows Godless Goose to take down Nazar's immortality field. The D Mac going to come on to Chief Dustin as we see the supercharged Dionis ends up taking down. Dwarf Nick is hammer be hammer as the tackle comes in and Trevor takes down Nug. Dream Duck tackling Fine Star into the ground as Azar and Iana's follow up on Godless Goose and Opum. That's going to go ahead and clean the objective once more. Two minutes on the clock for CGC Sunstone to take this objective. Unfortunately, I'm starting to think that Pachamari Ninjas just let them take first point because they wanted a longer match time. It might be possible. I might, I could agree with oh, you on that one. Oh, excellent sleep! Oh! That's not a good way to start this off. Already, we're gonna see them moving in for this fight. Here comes the Nano. Shatter comes in on to Dream Duck after their own Shatter. Diva Bomb coming up, ends up getting absorbed. Amplification Matrix coming out for Azara. The Honest takes down Godless Goose. The Shatter ends up coming out for Five Sire, but gets cleaned up by Zelleros. The only ones left on the objective right now are Chief Sussman and Dwarf Nick, and they're gonna get taken out of the fight rather quickly as we go ahead and see them move back to the defense. Pachamari Ninjas looking to take this three to zero this evening with just a minute left on the clock. Godless Goose now on with Zarya. It's gonna be interesting to match up against Ionis, especially with Introvert already all the way up to the Transcendence. And with this being their last real push, it's I don't think he's gonna be getting a, tra um, a Graviton Surge, but feel free to prove me wrong and extend this into a into another uh, another. I mean, that's match. what we were kind of hoping to see this evening. We weren't. We were looking to see that close match we saw in season or in week one. The shatter comes out a little early and up getting absorbed right there. Here comes the beat drop. That's the graviton from the honest holds everyone in place. Diva bomb coming down. Four Zelleros ends up getting nug in the process as Dream Duck gets the fire strike on the Dwarfic Shatter coming in for Dream Duck doesn't seem to do much to clean up as Fine Star ends up getting taken down by Azar and Zelleros ends up falling open. And that's it! Patrimari Ninja Patrimari taking Ninja away the 3 0 going into the finals next or later on this week, hopefully, <laughs> based on our scheduling. Mm -hmm. And that is going to be again. Uh, thanks for Scrim Esports. So first seed versus is that? third seed. We don't know yet. Don't know yet. The only finals match that has been scheduled so far is on Sunday. That's going to be the Masters match. So. So that will be. That will be a uh, an interesting match. We'll see this Sunday at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Other than that, we don't have any matches currently set, although we do have the Platinum Finals and the Diamond Finals uh, for the... Uh, to be able... Whoa, what, what's going on? I'm not for certain what's going on with, with them restarting the map again. <laughs> 1v6, because CGCs are right back down for the most part at this point. So go ahead, blow up the chat with who you all want to give your player of the match to this evening. Platinum, why don't you go ahead and start us off? I don't know. I'd, I'd, I'd probably have to give it to Ionis just because of the immense amount of plays that were being thrown down by him. Very good tracking as well on that Zarya. So just an all-around good player to watch. And simply, and it's also because of this that Pachamari Ninjas, it's Pachamari Ninjas is going to be such a hard team to pick an MVP for, simply because they're all performing at such a high level. Mm -hmm. So I would have to give it to Ionis because of the amazing plays, and because of just absolutely stellar aim and tracking that I was seeing. I think we'll lock him in. All right. I think I'm going to have to give some tank love this evening to uh, to Dream Duck on Pachamari Ninjas. Those those shatters were coming out so fat. That dive composition 
they were running at different points this evening was working out incredibly well for them, and especially uh, running that ham end was just tearing up the field, making space, taking space all over the place. Uh, for a main tank, Dream Duck is exactly what you want on your team. So, Dream Duck, I'm going to go ahead and give my player of the match to you this evening. In the chat, James O, or James O, not for sure how you pronounce that. Dream Duck Nasty. Dream Duck Nasty. So, and apparently we're being asked, how did CGC even get to the finals? Well, they were second seed. They're not bad, Dumbledore. It was just, they did very, very, very well. It, it was definitely not as it was not as good as we were hoping that it was gonna be. But we all have our off nights too. I'm not saying that CGC Sunstone wasn't performing at their best, but it seemed like something was a little lackluster after the half. So my hope is that uh, CGC Sunstone, we of course welcome you to come back next season. Season three is going to be. Uh, coming in once again uh, in August, so to speak. But for right now, we're going to be still focused on Season 2. So get ready for that application to go ahead and open up there, folks, for the upcoming new season as we finish out this one. And the, <laughs> the F speed popped in the chat right there. So, Pachamari Ninjas, you're headed on to the finals against third seed. Thanks for Scrims Esports. So we are going to be excited to see how that's going to go on later this week. You, we will also end up seeing the Platinum match. Nebula Phoenix, who was fifth seed in, in one of the co in Conference 1 versus Lost Coyotes, who was fifth seed in Conference 2, which we still can't figure out how both fifth seeds ended up beating out their top one through four. Yeah, like that is just you. You can't make this up sometimes, and you see this stuff in Overwatch League too. That that they may not do so well in like the stage, but if they get to the playoffs, they just pull it out of their butt. Just like yeah, LA hey Valiant just beat <laughs> LA Valiant just beat Vancouver Titans, and no one's exactly sure how that happened. Oh, well, there we go, Valiant. I'm going to give you some love. I loved you last season, but I really haven't been following you this time around. But <laughs> good to hear good to hear that you're bringing it back. I love to see that. All right. We all, so for Sunday, the match I forgot to mention what match it actually was. It is the Masters playoffs between first seed Scared and second seed Expandable Syndicate. So it's going to be a very close matchup between those two teams. And as of right now, uh, our hope is we were kind of hoping to do this earlier, but I'm not for certain uh, whether or not this will end up happening due to the fact that uh, we're kind of exhausted as the media team. We need some time off and we were looking to start that next week. But uh, seeing as the Masters match is on Sunday, uh, we may be making an exception and doing an um uh what is it an uh exhibition match between mm. the grandmaster finals hard bots versus the masters finals which will be whoever ends up winning scared or expandable syndicate so, well i for one would love to see that and would also oh, love to cast it i i would love to see and cast that as well but as of right now we <laughs> <laughs> we only have one match set for this week, so go ahead, continue to stay tuned to what's going on here at the Rose League by hitting that heart at the top of your stream. You can also hit that subscribe button, $4.99 a month, uh, or a Twitch Prime or Amazon Prime subscription will support our amazing community. With that being said, that's it for us here at the Rose League. Thanks to First Night of Knee for filling in for us for producer this evening. I'm Captain Jack. I'm Platinum Thistle. And we'll see you all next time.